banks. Well, investors are abandoning shares in bank stocks after two banks collapsed this weekend. The White House is insisting the banking system is safe. WGN's Jenna Barnes is here now with the very latest on this story. Jenna. Lourdes and Ray, that sell-off was seen mainly in mid-size and regional banks as the federal government tells banking customers all across the country their deposits are safe. President Joe Biden calming fears after the second and third largest bank failures in U.S. history, reassuring banking customers nationwide their deposits will be there when they need them. Americans can have confidence that the banking system is safe. U.S. regulators closed Silicon Valley Bank on Friday after its customers, which include tech startups and California wineries, rushed to withdraw their money all at once. The bank announced last week it needed to raise more than $2 billion to cover a cash shortfall. New York-based Signature Bank collapsed Sunday. The federal government announced it will cover all deposits at both banks, even those that exceed the federally insured limit of $250,000. Without that decision, many companies wouldn't have had the funds to pay bills or their employees. The quick response by the administration, Treasury Department, and the Federal Reserve reassures people that this isn't going any further. President Biden says the money to cover the deposits won't come from taxpayers, but from fees banks pay into the insurance fund. While the government is bailing out the bank's customers, it's not bailing out the banks themselves. So who's going to end up holding the bag on this? Well, the management team is out at the banks because they have not done a very good job of it. And secondly, uh, those who are holding stock in the bank and hope that it'd be profitable have just lost their bet. This is a very isolated situation. This is a very specific kind of bank that lent to very specific kind of high risk customers, startup operations uh, that happened in a very specific point of time. Steve Lewitt, CEO of the Buffalo Grove based SGL Financial, says this unusual event is unlikely to have a sweeping impact across the industry. If you have a diversified portfolio and you're invested for the long term rather than the short one run, uh, this to me, this is a blip on the screen. And a third bank, Silvergate Capital, which was a leading lender for the cryptocurrency industry, also collapsed last week, but announced it would fully repay all deposits as part of its liquidation plan. 